Yo, what's up YouTube? This is your boy Bartley Lewis. I'm over here at Custom Made in Jacksonville, Florida. And today's video is about Kiss Express, Airbrush, and Barber Enhancement, okay? Stay tuned and I'll tell you everything that I know about this topic. Okay, so you're a barber, you just started cutting hair, and you think you're ready to start enhancing your haircuts with the Kiss Express and the Airbrush. Perfect. All right, now you're in the right place if you're looking to learn how to do the airbrush or just get more information on how you can make your haircuts a lot much, a lot more better by enhancing them, okay? All right, now first thing first, I'm gonna show you guys a airbrush machine that I have, okay? This is the airbrush machine that I use and this makes it, uh, this is actually the actual compressor part of the airbrush machine, okay? Now, when I originally bought this airbrush um, uh, uh, kit, it didn't come with this sprayer right here. This sprayer, I brought it separately from Harbor Freight, which is my backup airbrush, okay? Now, whenever my airbrush that originally came with this compressor went out on me, and sometimes they do. Now, this compressor, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this compressor. If you guys stay till the end of this video, I'll give you guys a bonus at the end of this video, but I'm going to tell you a lot about this compressor right here and about this airbrush gun. So anyways, I'm not sure if you guys noticed that I was able to interchange this airbrush compressor with this sprayer. These airbrushes, compressors that normally come with the regular sprayer, those sprayers normally don't last very long. And I'm going to tell you why they don't last very long. They don't last long because these compressors normally don't push out more than 25 PSI. That's one of the most important things that you have to do when purchasing an airbrush gun is to get an airbrush gun that pushes out more than 25 PSI, okay? Pounds per square inch. That's what PSI stands for. So whenever you decide to order a uh, uh, airbrush gun, make sure that on the description it pushes out 25 PSI or above. Some, I've seen some with 30 PSI and some with a lot more. I recommend that anybody purchasing a, 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 their first airbrush machine to purchase the airbrush machine right here. This is a master airbrush machine and it comes with the uh, a cord. So this isn't a cordless airbrush machine. It, be, it comes cordless, okay? Now, the original sprayer that came with this master airbrush, it actually went out on me because I've been having this for like maybe two or three years and this compressor still works, okay? If you guys want proof that it works, I can plug it up for you and uh, show you how well this machine works, okay? It's a little noisy, but it does work, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug this uh, airbrush right here, the one that I bought from Harbor Freight, which is my backup airbrush. Now this airbrush sprayer did not come with this uh, uh, compressor. It also didn't come with this compressor either. Alright, now this is a wireless compre compressor and this is a corded compressor. This is a master airbrush compressor that you can buy online on Amazon. Okay? Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the machine back off. I'm going to connect this airbrush sprayer to this airbrush compressor. And how I do that is by just putting this on here and I'm going to screw it on. Those of you that know about airbrush machines realize that there's no container on top. This one actually comes with the container on the bottom. And it comes with this container right here. So what I'll do is I'll hook up the container to where it feeds at right there. And I'm going to actually turn on the master airbrush compressor. And once you turn it on, because the cord is connected to the sprayer, it won't make any noise. The only time it makes noise is when uh, uh, it gives a little rumbling, when, is when you actually spray. And when I say spray, I mean when you pull the trigger on top right here and you actually spray onto a piece of, uh, uh, use the airbrush and spray onto uh, a piece of paper or something like that, okay? So that's when the airbrush actually sprays. Now, I'm not sure if I gave you too much information all at one time, but I'm gonna slow down 
I'm gonna take it back and explain it to you, okay? Now, first of all, the airbrush sprayers that comes with this originally are normally trash, okay? The airbrush that comes with these are normally trash, okay? So they don't last very long. Only because this right here doesn't shoot out 25 PSI. So if you get ready to order one of these airbrush sprayers on Amazon, this is a good way to start it, but this isn't gonna last very long. The sprayer or the compressor isn't gonna last very long. This might give you a year, but it's not bad if you wanna start off using this because it'll probably cost you about 30, 45 bucks total to start off with this compressor. But the problem with starting with this compressor is this. When you mix the Kiss Express solution with the alcohol solution, I normally recommend that you mix 50-50. When I mean 50-50, I mean you mix 50% alcohol and 50% Kiss Express in order for you to get a dark enough solution to when you spray it on the hairline for it to pop, okay? When I mean pop, I mean for it to actually look like an enhancement. Now, if you use more alcohol than you use Kiss Express, I feel that it's not dark enough to show you a really crisp hairline. I don't know if that makes sense. If it doesn't, rewind this a little bit and listen to it again. Eventually, it'll make sense. So what I suggest is that you use half Kiss Express, half alcohol, and I'm gonna explain that. So if you have a container this big, okay, half of it is right here. So you put the bottom half of Kiss Express, the top half of alcohol. You mix it up together, and that's when you get a 50-50 solution of Kiss Express and alcohol, okay? Very simple. Now, when you pour that solution into here, it has to be 50-50 in order for it to spray, okay? For it to spray dark enough for you to actually see the enhancement. Now, if you use 75% alcohol and just 25% Kiss Express, it'll probably spray through this compressor, but it's not gonna be a dark enough solution to actually look like a nice enhancement, is what I'm saying, okay? So, that's my point. And that's actually the bonus that I was gonna give you guys at the end of the video. But all I'm saying is, always keep a backup sprayer. Because the sprayer that comes with this Master Airbrush Kit, which isn't a bad sprayer, they just don't last longer than a year. Because using so much Kiss Express, and it's hard keeping this stuff clean. Now the sprayer that comes with this is absolute garbage. It'll probably last maybe six months to a year, but it's trash. Believe me, it'll break on you, it'll stop spraying, it won't last. Now, this actual sprayer, I actually bought this separately from Harbor Freight, and it came with, uh, it came with a container in this uh, box right here. It's uh, Central Pneumatic, that's the name brand of it. And it came with a, uh, a few tools, uh, some little wrench, another way to feed the, uh, the sprayer. And it came with, I wanna say it came with a cord. No, it didn't come with a cord. But uh, I think I got an extra cord from purchasing another airbrush kit, something like that. But these cords right here are actually good. The Master Airbrush Kit comes with it. It also comes with a power adapter just plug it up right here on the top uh, the master airbrush kit actually comes with two parts where you can plug two uh, two different uh, cords so you can actually use two different airbrushes at one time with this uh, compressor which is a good thing so this side right here is a compressor where you can plug a compressor up to and you can also uh, plug it up to this side this is the power switch and like I said you can interchange these sprayers with different compressors. So uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concern, go ahead and leave a comment below. I will leave a link with this Master Airbrush uh, uh, compressor kit on the bottom of this video. I'll try to find, well, I'm probably not gonna, I'm, I'm probably not gonna link this one to it because I didn't really tell you guys anything good about it, but at the same time, this is a pretty decent, if you're starting out and want to use this airbrush machine, just know that it won't last very long. It is interchangeable with different airbrushes. The part about this, using this sprayer with this air um, compressor, it won't work because if you look, this container right here is too big for it to screw on. So 
I would actually literally have to take this container off, screw this compressor onto it, okay? Screw this compressor onto it. Once it's completely screwed on, I think there's another uh, feeder that comes with the uh, airbrush kit. Remember I said this kit right here? It came with a different way to feed this uh, 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 airbrush kit. And, uh, well, it doesn't fit because this compressor's in the way. So it came with another little piece right here where you could actually feed the, uh, but it won't fit. No matter what I do, it won't fit. So this uh, 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 Harbor Freight airbrush gun sprayer would not work with this compressor. But if this compressor had this right here on the top, it would work, okay? So just so you know, if you were to buy a secondary sprayer and you had an airbrush uh, a compressor like this one, make sure that the way that you, the place that you pour the liquid is on top, that way this won't be in the way, the compressor won't be in the way. I don't know if that makes sense, but like I said, and I say this in all of my videos, if it doesn't make sense, just rewind it, play it back, and you'll be able to understand, okay? So thanks for uh, watching this video. Shout out to Barbara Illuminati again. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and follow me on Instagram. Peace.